for that. The Colts moved practice inside on Wednesday at Grand Park because of the weather. The work continues towards Sunday's first preseason game. Multiple quarterbacks will see action, just not the one most Colts fans wanted to see. Brad Brown has more on the backups in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. Carson Wentz returned to Colts training camp on Tuesday, just a week and a day after going in for surgery to remove a broken bone in his foot. The quarterback was moving, had a little bounce going, in fact, but nothing in the way of football and probably not for a while. Of course, I joked with Carson, you know, I got the seven on seven. I goes, let's go, you're up. You know, I mean, we pretty much said, hey, this surgery, we're, we're eight days out for Carson, seven for Q. We said after two weeks, you know, we, that's kind of when you start to get a feel for where you're going to be. So now comes the opportunity to be the Colts QB for now. 2020 draft pick Jacob Eason is being listed as the top of the depth chart for this week's first preseason game. He's taken a majority of snaps with the A lineup so far. During camp, you know, they're throwing a lot at you and, and you're doing a lot of time studying and a lot of things are moving really fast. So, you know, it's nice to come out here and and do some review, um, but you know, at the same time, it's good to get get on it, get in there under the fire and, and learn everything on the fly because you know it makes it that much easier as the days goes on. This year's draft pick, Sam Ellinger, has been progressing well since the start of camp. He took some snaps with the ones on Tuesday. Ellinger will see plenty of action in Sunday's tune-up. Um, I've had great coaching with the X's and O's and, and just really understanding defenses and understanding offenses because um, when, I, when I come to the line of scrimmage, I really try to eliminate as much information as possible. Obviously gather it, but eliminate it as well um, to make it really simple. And I know Coach Wright talks about making it simple um, at the line of scrimmage, and so that's what I try to do. Brett Hundley will also be in the mix this week. And as the timetable for Wentz to return is still very much up in the air, the next four weeks of work for both Eason and Ellinger will be very important. One or the other could be getting his first NFL start a month from now. Competition is great. You know, every position has competition, you know, especially during training camp. So in that, in that QB room, we got a great relationship, but, you know, we're always competing. And I think, you know, we feed off each other's energy and we, we sit there and we, you know, we talk to each other during meetings and bounce, bounce ideas off each other and, you know, coaches included. Week one was... Kind of like, oh, shoot, first NFL practice, what's the speed going to look like? And, you know, now understanding what that looks like, the layout, the speed, being able to really get into the details of what it takes to be successful on each given play. The good news is they both look sharp today. I mean, Jacob had a really good day today. Sam looked good. We'll continue to uh, split those reps and just take it day by day. But happy with how they both look today. Colts camp continues Thursday afternoon at 4 o'clock, the first of two joint practices with the Carolina Panthers. In Westfield, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports. Thank